Hello. Mm. Oh, right. I was right in the middle of finding the tuxedo when I ended off last stream. Oh, you're already that far? I got that. F I got this far in like oh, right. what an hour and a half. I was right in the middle of finding the tuxedo. That's pretty good. Yeah, I streamed this uh, earlier in the stream to I, once again to fill in for somebody. I've been all over the place today, where I wasn't really able to watch the streams. Same, actually. I was stuck in Home Depot for two hours. I had to go for a job interview this morning, then had to help watch my sister's kids. Then had to go to the store. Hmm. Sounds fun. Hey, Otto. Hello. I'm out of breath because I had to run to the kitchen to get me a bottle of water. Yeah. So, sounds fun. It's always fun. So yeah, we'll be streaming this for four hours, apparently. Yeah, I've seen. Uh, bit lightheaded, but I will. Turn off my phone's ringer so that doesn't get in the way. Because, no, my luck it will. Um, I just got lost. Okay, here we go. I got lost on trying to find the exit to this room for a second. Oh. I actually need to play Sly 2 again before anything else comes up. At, well, before I let's play anything. But I can't because my connection is over at my girlfriend's house. Bad times. Add another bottle. Okay. Not in there. This one will be in here. I thought so. So now I just want Was it in the shoes? I just got the shoes, yeah. And now for the final tuxedo part. Oh, good. Oh, how did I. You know what? Don't question it. Just pickpocket him. Yeah. I remember the time playing uh, Psy 2 whenever we had to find the tuxedo parts. I actually just searched the bathrooms first because. I always thought it'd been hilarious to find one of the tuxedo parts in the bathroom. And I believe two of them are in the bathroom. <laughs> That's what made it really interesting to find. Yeah. You gotta wonder why there are these tuxedo parts in the bathroom. I don't think Sly really wants to wear them. But he has to. Exactly. Okay. I think uh, this chapter had my favorite scene in the entire game. Yeah, which one? The uh, uh, dancing thing. Mm, yeah. Yeah, here it is. The bow tie. I think that's like my favorite part. One of my favorite parts of Slide Two is the uh, dancing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest thing you gotta wonder is they decided to put the gloves in a bathroom. These are my synthetic gloves. So the gloves are in the bathroom. I don't. I really don't think he wants to wear those gloves. Uh, no telling where those gloves have been. Those are, those were the gloves that cleans the toilet. Yeah. And then they flipped them inside out so they'd seem clean. Yep. So by the time you're putting them on, you're basically having dirty toilet on your hands. Yep. And this is where you start to feel extremely sorry for Sly.
Then you just wonder, does he bathe in the beach in off, off scenes? Where am I supposed to go? Okay. I'm gonna go take care of the, the less fun mission first because, you know, people want entertainment. So let's start with no entertainment! Haha! Yeah. -ha! Okay. That's always the best idea. It's always the stuff first. But... Sonic, so, you're, being, which... you're being very choppy. Am I? Yeah. I don't know how. I'm not really doing nothing. I'm watching the stream. He's not, he's not choppy for me. Really? Let me look at my task manager and see if I can uh, get rid of something that is not being used. Let's see. Oh well. that of course I can't in that let's see can I get rid of that nope Oh, that's a bummer. Ah, 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 ah. There's no reason that guy should not have seen me, but he didn't, so I'm happy. That's another thing I'm fascinated by this game. The guy's almost blind. Yeah. Blind. You really have to be like two to three feet in front of them to notice you. Yeah. My favorite part is how you can dash up to a guard, so they're like, huh? But before they actually turn around to see you, you can kill them with the stealth slam. Yes. That I love doing that. It's like, what was that set? Oh, God, I'm dead. It's like, what was the set dead? It's like, what was that set? Oh, you motherfucker! And then the guard next to you is like, what was that sound? <laughs> Nothing. I Why? thought Billy was just here. Why did my brother just say motherfucker and then disappear? Oh well. Eh, he probably went home. I don't, I don't see anybody. He probably just found some way to teleport home. Yeah, he probably just walked in early. With those teleportation powers that I totally know that he has. Yep. Cause I sure am a smart guard. I'm the smartest one of them all. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't think I did took my ranger because I got text. Wow. Jesus, how much money does this guy have? He is a billionaire. <laughs> I had to pickpocket him like seven times before he gave me the key. Oh, I remember I had to pickpocket a guy like... eight times <laughs> to get to whatever he had. And it turned out just to be a bronze thing besides something really valuable. And I'm like, I hate you so much right now. I would have looked at it for a second and just said, Worth it! 
I mean, it would have been better if it was like a silver or gold thing with a bra. So it was like not that much worth it. Honestly, I think if you had made a video, like a video with that, I would comment on it saying, worth it, with a troll face. It would probably happen during the Let's Play, whenever I do Let's Play Slide 2. I have already Let's Played every single Sly game, so... I went from Slide 1 all the way up to Slide 4, and I have to finish Slide 4 before I go back to Slide 2. I worked like hell. I, I worked my ass off to finish Sly 3 right before Sly 4 came out. I basically finished Sly 1 whenever Sly 4 came out and then went straight to Sly 4. <laughs> Which I need to record that again. I'm being lazy. It's right here. I saw it. I'm going to get this clue bottle. For no reason, because there's no way I'm getting all the clue bottles, but I'm going to get this one anyway. I remember back whenever I did buy this game, and then with one of the uh, like little pamphlets it came with, it came with the like a map for the first, second, and third area with all the clue bottle locations. That sounds useful. Yeah. It actually, it did. Then the third day of having the game, I lost the uh, the little pamphlet with the map. And I looked everywhere, and I couldn't find it. I was severely mad. Great item management, buddy. Well, this was back when my place living room that there one basically stayed. Hmm. That. I looked between the couches, I looked under the, the couch, behind the couch, a radio station area, I looked inside the case, and still came up with nothing. You know, I like the order where you said you looked inside the case last. <laughs> because I had to remember putting it back in the case. Yeah. Then after I would search everywhere, it's like, maybe I did put it back in the case. Looking in the case, not there. That just would have been only instruction booklet. That just would have been hilarious if it was in the case. It's right. I would have slapped myself by then. It's right where it should have been, but I spent three hours searching for it. I actually spent three days looking for it. I've done giving up. I've done things like that before. Where I I just put it exactly where it's supposed to be, and then I just can't couldn't find it for like two months. <sighs> that but that pamphlet has never seen the day of light again because it's probably. Not existed anymore. It's rat food. There never been rats in the house. Or mice. Yeah, pets. I don't, never had a pet inside that house at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you check on? Did you check on your bed? Why well, would well, if, if the PlayStation was, was in the living room? I remember I once lost my DS for like a full year until I found it in the corner under my bed. But it was like standing upright in the corner, like I'd been playing it while falling asleep, and then when I fell asleep, it like closed and fell and slid down behind my bed into the corner and stayed there for two years. I remember when I was playing my Game Boy events and SP. Ever I was little, where the doctor was basically telling me I was a badass and I needed to get on a diet. And I left it in my monitor where the glove department is, and I spent about six months looking for it, and I could never find it. Hmm. And then I finally found it after that period of time where I was not on diet anymore. I've had a lot of DS's. I know, f I know that I had one of the original DS's when it, soon after it came out. Then some. Yeah, the breaks. Then I got a DS, a black DS Lite, which is the one I lost under my bed for two years. Then I got a white DS Lite for some reason I don't remember. Then I left that on an airplane, and my dad bought me a red and black DS Lite, 
which I sold once I got a blue DSi, which we sold when we sold all of our video games, and now I have a Pokemon Black DSi. And a Pikachu 3DS, and I had a regular 3DS before that, if both of those count. I have a, bl I have a, a DSi and a blue and black 3DS. Yeah, I've had a lot of DSs. I have the brick DS that's basically almost broken. I had the DS light, red and black, for a while, and then until I got the uh, DSi XL blue. And then I gave it to one of my friends. My black, red and black went to one of my friends. And then that DSi XL basically came obsolete when I bought it with the 3DS coming out. But I kept it. And then, after a long period of time, I have the 2DS now. Hmm. I think I win. On just, yeah. sheer, on just sheer amount of DS's. Basically. Because I still can't believe I left my white DS on the airplane. I, I'm too forgiving of myself where if I don't have it in my pocket or in my hands before get my seat will basically be getting off. Mm. Now for the dance party. Yeah. The first of two dancing mini games. I like the second one better. Yeah. Mini apps like for dancing mini games. I don't I, remember. I like these ones better than the Sly Four ones. The Murray. Oh one. wait, there it's is the uh, the Murray one. And there's the Carmelita the belly dance. And then the Carmelita one's like right there at the end. Yeah. With with, Sal with Salim Al Kupar. Which I think. A lot of, like, some of the Sly Cooper fan base basically got their affection met because they like Carmelita that much. Yeah. I mean, when I play through, I'm like, this doesn't even fit the role that much, so this is not... Ah. Uh. Sly 3 and Sly 4 are rated E10, whereas Sly 1 and Sly 2 are rated E. Yeah, there's a lot... I think Sly... I know Sly 3, some of the missions were kind of out there, like the, the, the water scene. Repeat that? The Dimitri underwater swimming. Oh, yeah. Guess I know that scared the crap out of me whenever I played it. The sharks? Yeah. Oh, I the shark and didn't do nothing. And Otto, you haven't eaten thir in 36 hours. You should probably eat something. I can't go out eating, eating for a minute. Otto, if you do not eat, I will have a meteor drop on the bacon factory by your house. So you're going to play Spurb? <laughs> That'd be a good way to destroy the entire planet. Yes. Except for a select Popcorn. few people. I like how on the stream there's like a whole giant dialogue and all my <laughs> On my computer screen, there's only two of auto. <laughs> like, well, that's because I've had this pop up, this pop out open. I do not remember what I'm supposed to do here. I've had this pop up uh, open for ever since it started. So, <laughs> it was one of them I screwed up because I wasn't paying attention while it was going on, so I literally didn't know what to do. <laughs> uh, I basically switched from this. The hitbox one every so often. I just have them both open. 
My computer. Oh, well, I did have that. both of them open, but then whenever there was a stream on Hitbox and then there was a stream on here, it just like was a giant audio mess and I couldn't hear nothing. And then I'm like, I have to mute one or the other. I usually just have them both open and both muted. Wow. And then I just unmute it if I want to watch something. I think after this, Sly might want to get that tuxedo dry cleaned. I really hope that he had it dry cleaned. Well, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have really had time beforehand, but maybe now he can. Actually, wait. This is all taking. This is all being taken place in one night. That's right. So he can't. Forgot about that. Yeah. Tori loves. I remember back when I played Luigi's Mansion as a kid, I thought it was so funny that they always mentioned, like, if you play, it to only took place in one night, because it would take us, like, days to complete the game. And now I'm just, and now I'm just like, yeah, I complete this game in way less than one, than one night. I, I think, like, you were supposed to originally have a time limit for the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. You were supposed to have at least the entire, like, 12 hours, and the entire time of the game, but if you don't, and whenever it became morning, you just started the entire game from the beginning again without checkpoints. Mm. Yeah, that's. So you had to basically speed run the game, or just keep dying. Underst understandable why they took it out. I mean, I'm glad they took it out because you would almost. If you're, like, first time to the game and not knowing, like, every single thing, it's going to take you about maybe seven nights before actually knowing, like, you get this far, die, you get, like, a little bit farther, then die again, just just repeats until you actually beat the game. Yeah. And now, that's how I was in my first playthrough, and now I literally can beat the game in two and a half hours. I still need to get the game. Uh. Now for some of my least favorite missions in this whole game. The shooting missions. The potato launcher. I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. Yeah, uh, you basically had a giant, giant potato turret. That overheated. And actually shot at helicopters. Yeah, it shot down helicopters. You shoot a potato helicopter to knock it out of the sky. Murray had the best... Sh apparently Murray had the best childhood. I wish I had that kind of childhood. <laughs> yeah, when I was growing up, when I was about five years old, I shot down a helicopter with a potato. <laughs> Tell someone that and they're just like, what? <laughs> Don't believe me? Look at these these photos of my childhood of me shooting a potato look, gun at a helicopter and killing it. Look at these photos that look at these pictures that are clearly not photoshopped in any way, shape, or form. Exactly. Because you know they just look so real. I finally it took me forever, but I finally figured out a good way to shoot down these missiles before they get close to you. If you're good at following the trail a bit, you shoot on the place where the trail is, and then eventually it'll just hit the missile. Yes. That, oh, my first time through that, screwed up so bad, where I actually hated this mission so much. I always hate these shooter missions, especially with Clockla. Oh, God. I hate that mission. Clockla is literally the hardest boss fight I've ever had in any Sly game. Um, I can't remember that much of it, actually. I remember you having to 
ran across Bree onto Clockless back and then swapped her in the head. Yeah, that's the e that's the easy part part of the mission. And then she just crashes down with a laser. Yeah, it took me forever to beat this game. I didn't even know about. I I, I was stuck on the Contessa when you're still in jail for such a long time. Oh, I hated that mission. That took me weeks to beat. That took me. First time. That took me years to beat. Like literal years because I gave up at some point. I was because I only like the best side and I didn't really like to play as Bitly and almost like Marie at that point. But Bitly was like that one character that's like the weakest and couldn't really do much about the computers and putting people to sleep and bombing them. But whenever I you had to go through that mission to get all those terminals for the uh, train car. God, I was... I couldn't do that mission. I get like, to the first terminal, then get that done, then go to the second terminal and always die. I was actually st stuck on the pickpocketing the Contessa mission. That's the one that I was stuck on for years. That one didn't really bother me as much, because... Looking back on it, I have no idea why I thought it was so difficult, but I did. That one, to me, I thought it was easy, but you really have to the actual, just, this, the uh, slam move. You should have the, like, silent operation at that point to make it a lot easier. Because that actually helped me out a lot. Yeah. I finally killed the stupid turret. You mean helicopter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you killed Murray! <laughs> I finally killed Murray! Yes! You were actually in the helicopter the entire time. <laughs> Plot twist! <laughs> You're actually the member of the Claw Gang. <laughs> yeah, that would, be, that would be an interesting game. Yeah, you actually have to play as the Claw... They actually be the enemies of the Sly series. What would be the most interesting... Is if they made a Sly game where you played as where you played entirely as Carmelita trying to capture Sly. And that one actually might be really interesting to play. Like set like it plays through the first three Sly games, but you're Carmelita, and you have to go and ca try and capture Sly, and it ends with the whole Sly being am amnesiac and them working together. Yeah. Even though he was pretending the entire time. Yeah. I have no idea who has a mission. Sly tends to have missions, so I'll get him so out. Sly always has missions. Oh, Elephant Rampage, Boardroom Brawl, and then Bentley's Arsenal. Oh, I, I hate Elephant Rampage. I hate Elephant Rampage. It's so irritating. It's, ah! just, it's just like the first elephant, it was like the easiest. And then you get to like the second elephant, it's like you won't expect it to start swishing its trunk across its back to hit you. And then it's just like you can't keep knocking you off. I just hate Elephant Rampage because it's extremely tedious. But it is nice when it gets ran over. Yeah. You, you can have it in the line side of the elephant and just like kill the birds. <laughs> Die! Bedroom Brawl. Uh. Scaring some. Bed scaring some rats underneath the elephants? No, that's a rampage. I don't remember what was that. I don't remember that mission. I love this mission just. I love, like, the. Not this mission, I love this, like, entire plan they get to get the clockwork wings, because it makes no sense. The guards are so distracted by Sly and Carmelita's dancing that they don't hear a presumably extremely loud saw cutting these metal wings off of off of the statue that they're welded to. And Rajan is sitting right there, in a bit, like, I think he, I th close to it. Isn't the statue a throne for Rajan, which he is sitting on? Basically, yes. So, how are they not yet, able to? He hear cannot this? hear the 
giant saw that's made of crystals, hearing it just going at it. I, I guess Rajan just has really, really bad hearing. But yet, in the next map, he's like having like this super hearing. Yeah, because because then he's terrified. You, we all know that when you're terrified, your hearing jumps from crap, jumps from shit to the best hearing anybody could possibly have ever. Yes, that elephant looks so scared. I got one of six gems for a loud, for an extremely loud saw blade that somehow does not alert anybody to its presence. I love how the I love how the elephants just trample over guards. Yeah. That's what I like to do whenever the elephants were just on the rampage. You just get as many guys on you as possible and get over by the elephant. <laughs> I'm, trying to go as, I'm trying to go as quick as possible because yesterday, when I had 15 minutes left, Blazefur gave me the goal to complete to get arrested in those 15 minutes I had. So I'm going to at least make that the goal of these four hours is to get arrested. Wow. Ooh. My honestly, my goal at that point was just to get the dancing mission done, which I didn't do. All I got to was two parts of the tuxedo. Oh, well, you came close though, which caps up. Ah, fuck. The problem is, I spent half the time searching for one of the parts of the tuxedo because <laughs> I couldn't remember. Oh. I couldn't find the thing where I knew it was in. I knew where it. I knew what item it was. I just didn't know where that item was. So I never remember what uh, locations they are. I just the entire room as fast as possible. I always then if I find it, I find it. I know what all the items they're in, what all the like things they're in are. I just can never remember which one's which. Yeah, that's why I always because we are just like destroy everything. Destroy everything, and then then he conveniently bumped his head and forgot about it all. Yep. God damn it, I'm bad at getting on this elephant one last time. Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Or keep following me. That works too. Man, I can't wait to get the paraglider. Love that thing. I was actually really surprised that they actually introduced a paraglider in this game and never first playing. I'm like, yes. I'm just very happy Sly 4 had the paraglider right off the bat. I, I, in Sly 3, it was basically right off the bat, too. No, in Sly 3, you had to wait until Holland. Wasn't that the third mission, though? That was the th yeah, that was the third. Out of six. Not further though. It was halfway through the game. True. Yes. Pi. Wrong version of pi. We're all nerds here. It's supposed to be pi. I'm hungry. No. I just like half burnt popcorn, so. <laughs> I'm good. When, I, when this stream is over, I'm going to go cook myself a pizza, and then I'm going to have some barbecue chips with it, and then I'm going to go to bed to prepare for my stream at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Lordy. This, this stream ends at 12 a.m., and then I have a stream at 8 a.m. So... I, I hate sleep. Actually, no. It's not that I hate sleep, it's that I hate my eyes. It's like, you really say, like, your eyes, your eyes did not get super tired, but it's like, killing you. Okay, now for the mission I actually like, which is behind the palace, I believe, yeah. Bedroom Brawl. I think I actually remember what that mission is now. I remember most of the missions once I see their name. That's how much of a. Oh uh, yeah, I know what the mission is now because it actually introduces you to the uh, the safe whenever you get all the clue bottles. Yeah. This. And then. This. You get, I get 
it's basically my favorite item in the in the entire game. I don't usually go for the clue bottles because I hate collectathons. I I, I mean, only when... I only go for clue bottles in Sly One because it's Sly One. It's a necessity. Which apparently in the the yeah, Sly cool collection. And Sly so 1, where it was glitch for me, where I could get all the clue bottles in that one stage, Jimmy's Rubies. Apparently, you can, but I was not told how it would be. I'm curious, Sonic, as to what your favorite and least favorite boss fights in, in the entire Sonic series are. Or, sorry, uh, Sly series are. My <laughs> Sonic series. God. My least favorite in like each one or just in general? In general, favorite and least favorite. Oh god. I think my most favorite one out of the entire Sly series has to be Miss Ruby's stage. Yep. In Sly 1. But in the Sly collection, it kind of botched it like really bad where I kind of hated it. So I kind of want to get the, the uh, PS2 disc again. Just so I can just play that stage with the actual timing of the song. Mm. I have both versions of all games, so... Oh, I did have it for, like, the Sly collection for the PS2 and then the PS3 version, but... I'm, my stupid ass was okay just to give it all to my friend. Says I have the collection, it should be the same thing, but it really wasn't. Ow. So, but yeah, I slapped my, myself across the face. But yeah, my favorite is Ms. Ruby, and my least favorite is Clockla. I can't even remember what my least favorite was. I have an absolute hatred of Clockla. I know Clockla was, like, one of the worst to me. Just because there was of, another worst. Just because of how difficult the shooting part of, of Clockla was, that's the only reason I hate it. The rest of the boss fight is actually quite fun. Yeah, I basically have to go with you on that one. I hated the shooting part. Yeah, but... Dr. M is also very irritating. Uh, which one? The final boss fight is Dr. M. With Dr. M. When you're sl Where you basically have to go between, like, three of the side vehicles, and then he's just, like, beams at you. Yeah. Because... It gets to the point for me where I literally am just dodging his attacks because I can't get a hit on. I basically get up to his like the final hit where I'm like almost dead, and then as soon as I'm about to hit him, he kills me each time. So I basically only beat Slide Three about twice out of my thirteen times I played it. I've actually beaten Slide Three a lot just because eventually, because just because I'm a very persistent. So. Yeah. I will literally keep fighting Dr. Rem until I kill him. I don't care how many tries it takes. I don't care how angry I get. I don't care how many people yell at me for the fact that I'm yelling. Yes. I will just you know, keep playing it until he's dead. You know those magma things in the final level in Sly 1? I get the mug. I that I will the slugs? Yeah. I like the final level of Sly 1, those quick lava enemies. Yeah. Those things gave me nightmares. They didn't really mean nightmares. I just hated the mission where you had to be have to use the van and like destroy them and then get the uh, computer chip. I never I hated the mission. I never had nightmares from video games, but I did have an I did have nightmares from one SpongeBob episode. One. I never had a nightmare from video games either. I just had a nightmare about a uh, Hot Wheels uh, little track thing. But the SpongeBob episode is like when he had to complete an essay, but then like he gets he falls asleep and he has a dream about like his house being alive and then being lit on fire. And he has like that... 13 dreams inside the dream. <laughs> but then somehow that like f freaked me out and I had nightmares over that episode for a long time. Well, do you have you ever played with Hot Wheels uh, growing up? Uh, no. Yeah. I played with well, the Wheels Pet Shop when, while growing up. 
Well, there's this uh, little toy track where there's like a shark at the bottom of the track where if you land over it, like chomps down, it could either be a fake chomp or a play chomp to catch a car. And I decided to play that after my birthday one year, like at my birthday. And it was like 9 o'clock at night. And then played it for about like, five minutes or so. And then when I went to sleep, I had a dream of a beat. I was in a one of like doing like the track, and it was like a real life shark uh, trying to eat me. Mm. Sharks with lasers. Shark that lasers. Turned into, that turned into an octopus. That turns into Octo Dad. I don't want to play Octo Dad. I watched the, the first time I watched that. Uh, anything with that game was watching Vegeta play it from TFS. Oh. I've seen both Let's Plays of Octodad 1 and then Octodad uh, Dead Dadliest Catch. I think they yep. say it. It was the Dadliest Catch one. That's the one Vegeta played. I've seen both of them by uh, Uber Hacks or Nova. But it was just so funny watching Vegeta play it. You should see uh, uh, Nova play it. It basically want... makes like no sense in it. You should watch Vegeta play every single game that he plays. Including Surgeon Simulator 2013. I, I, I'm lost. I actually caught up on uh, TB DBZ Abridge uh, today. You watched them all? Yes, I rewatched them all because since the last episode I remember watching and the only episode that was up was... Right after the part where Vegeta was fussing at Krillin about where's the Sinso Bean. Mm. Then I watched the... That, but I went back to a few episodes before that to recap. And rewatched them all. Did you see Cooler 2, The Return of Cooler's Revenge the Reckoning? From that point. Yes. And Dragon Ball Z Kai Bridge Episode 2? I remember seeing that at uh, one of my friend's places. That one was the best. I like how... They basically made it just to make fun of the Kai series. Yeah. I am a super sandwich! Is it grape flavored? I don't know, yes, because I don't like grape. Then it's bacon flavored! Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, God, I just remember the that uh, the other episode where Yancho was basically talking to Chi Chi and Goku's like, just endless screaming. Yeah. Then at the end of the episode, he's like counting the seconds, breaking records. Yeah. I don't remember the last time he inhaled, and while that's kind of impressive, I don't think it's healthy. Oh Everybody. good, he finally took a... Ah! One, two, three. <laughs> and then... And then there's at the end of one of those when they're driving over to Kam to Kamiyas, like, here, I'll show you a ship. No, no! Oh, God, it's on top of Goku! Ah! And that's back. And, oh, great, I gotta go again. At least one of us is having fun over this. Two of us. Did you hear his attack? Big bang attack. Well, that is a little bit better than the special beam cannon. No! Not like the Kamehameha! The Kamehameha doesn't drill things! Last time I checked, neither does a cannon. That's what makes it special! Nail gun? Damn it, that's good. I'm... 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 I'm I'm actually quite amazed they didn't give Nail an energy beam called the Nail Gun. I was actually d surprised. I I expected at least Kai. I expected at least a bridge to do that. I'm um, like, that's what I was expecting. Uh, a little bit afterwards, I'm like, his name is Nail, and he's sh whenever he shoots his beams, he should say the Nail Gun. <laughs> nail Gun. Damn it! That's Damn good. it! Piccolo, why didn't you dodge? I don't remember that one. 
It's from Kai Abridged Episode 2. I quote a lot of things from that one. Like, Dodori. I haven't seen Kai Bridge 2 yet. You, you need to. You, you I didn't see it. It wasn't in the playlist when I was playing. Yeah, he, it yeah, was only a Kai 1. Neither was Cooler 2. I believe. I, unless they added Cooler 2 to the playlist recently. Well, it looks like I'm going back through that later tonight. I am a woman! Wait, what? I said I am a woman. What? And that's why I was named the most beautiful and fertile woman on my home planet. Before Frieza blew it up. He tends to do that also. Ugh. Oh yeah, I remember now. I forgot to do that thing yet the last time we was in the chat. The thingus with the stuff that's in the thingus? Well, that picture of Nappa and Vegeta and Phoenix in the court. Mm. I forgot to put that through the chat of Skype. And I just now remembered. Keeps kicking me in the dick. Why does he keep kicking me in the dick? Okay, Vegeta. I'll take the 500 on the right. You take the 500 on the left. Screw you, I'll take 501. That's the spirit. I am totally going to die. I'm so gonna die, I'm so gonna die. Why? Um, somewhat blind. Why am I so bad? <laughs> run! Run, Bentley! Run as fast as you can, which is not very fast because you're a turtle. Wait until you get that... Unless you do get that uh, one uh, perk for him to run like super spaz. Super, the, super spaz. The adrenaline Super burst. fast. The adrenaline burst. You gotta run super spaz. Super spazzed. God, I can't talk tonight. Luckily, once I get to this mission, I don't have to control Bentley. I just have to control an RC chopper that drops bombs. Because, you know, Bentley couldn't think to, I don't know, equip his chopper with a turret. Just, just bombs. Exactly. And then he won't, and then he won't really get a turret until the John Basson, uh train stages. Yeah. Okay, now I'm at the part where you said you was gonna die. I like this mission much, much more than destroying the helicopter with the gun. The potato gun. I mean, I really like the these missions, like Bentley's missions with the RC chopper and the uh, computer hacking. Yeah. That's what really destroyed me from Psy 4's Bentley. Because of the hacking and all. The hacking was, I, so, this was, hacking was so different. I mean, I like... It kind of made it more enjoyable, sort of. But I didn't like the uh, Jetpack Bentley and the Controller Rotation minigame. I really didn't oh, like yeah. them. I hate the Controller Rotation minigames in general with PS3. I hid with them all. I'm like, why couldn't they just stick with the original little turret thing going through the little levels and then There are so many times stage. There are so many times when you're playing Sly 4 when you're just wondering, why couldn't they just stick with the original? Exactly. And the, one of the biggest things that'll throw you off of Sly 4 is how the is the Binocucom change. Because the controls for the Binocucom are on the opposite control sticks. In yes. Sly 4, and that bothers the shit out of me. Cause I remember both being in one stick at one point, but I can't remember which one. But in Sly, but I think it's like in Sly 2 and 3, you move it with the with R3, and you zoom in with L3. Whereas in Sly yeah. 4, that's reversed, so you move. Uh, it with I couldn't do that. It really bothered me, and I had to invert it. Yeah. I had to. I always have everything inverted, so I had to switch it to normal. Thanks to thanks, I always have it. 
thanks to the Sly games and the Jack and Daxter game, I prefer inverted camera controls. I've, I've like, seen videos where people are like, I don't know why anyone would ever use inverted camera controls, and then I'm just like, um, because they're useful? Because... I just can't get, I can't get into inverted control that much, unless they're really better than the normal controls. Or I just get used to them before, besides getting used to the normal controls. Sly 4... Then I'll have to switch. Sly 4 controls just bother me in general, because... Like, whenever you're doing, like, a first-person shooting or something like that, I have to switch from inverted to normal. And I just have to constantly be changing the camera. Whereas with the other Sly games, the cameras are already set exactly the way I'm used to, because I got my, the camera controls I like from the first three Sly games. Yes. I know, um... Crap. I know I, the camera controls... I got used to was from Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3 Warped and then like the Spyro 1 through 3 games with Sly. Mm. Then Jack and Daxter came after. I just got used to the normal controls besides the inverted and I couldn't really use inverted anymore. And then the only times I got really did have to use inverted whenever I got used to inverted before I actually got used to the normal which sucked or not depends Buffa. no Nafa it's a trick Buffa Jada tricks are for kids, are for kids. you know what Nafa catch it catch it with your catch teeth with teeth yay yeah. oh wow my face! My precious modeling career! career. It's over! Wait, you had a modeling career? I like how the part where he, uh. where Vegeta actually comes back from, like, training, I guess, from the outer space. He's just like, some crashes like his, he's like, I'm back, bitches! That's like the best part in that episode to me. Yeah. It's like, just just crashes, have smoke going all over the place, there's like, long pause, and like, I'm back, bitches! Yeah. And then later, he's like, see Yoncha's like, the only other person that was killed was by a Cyberman. Yeah. Ha 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 Why yeah. did you come over here and laugh at in my face? Ha! Ha, ha! You see, now we can laugh together. It's just so stupid. Yancha is like the stupidest character. We fought when we, we fought when you landed on Earth. No, I fought Kakarot. Nappa fought everyone else. Well, except for that one guy who was killed by a cyber. <laughs> is that the beta male? No, Krillin just got here. Oh God, they're breeding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was the good one. What woman? Where do you put my armor? It's in the wash. You bitch! I have I have other clothes wait outside for you. The only thing I hate, the only thing I hate more than weaklings is the color pink. Long pause. Ah! <laughs> and then I think after that. And it's like, Yancha's like, yeah, that was kind of, yeah, it's kind of neat now. <laughs> okay, he was like, oh yeah, this is fun. Yeah, the guy single-handedly responsible for killing half the gang is taking a shower in the other room. I don't really expect that to be neat. Yeah. Okay, this is neat. And then, I think it was either later that episode or later the next episode after the whole trunk spilling out the whole secret to him. Yeah. It's like, Piccolo's just laughing in the background. It's like, uh -huh. what's so funny? Your shirt! Oh my god, Mikai. Ah ha ha! What's so funny? Your shirt! Ah! <laughs> that was, I was like, those, those moments I can actually point out and actually those are the only moments I actually like from some of the series. He's just making fun of Vegeta, or Vegeta making fun of someone else. 
Stop hitting Krillin. Why? Because you're breaking Kame House. Yeah! Stop breaking Kame House! Hey, Sonic. Yes? Have you seen Battle of the Gods? Yet? I was supposed to with my dad, but then he got upset because I didn't come home from the beach when I was supposed to, and then we just never watched it. You just need to watch it. You have to. Yeah. I really want to because it's actually supposed to be good again. Besides that other Dragon Ball movie that was complete shit. Especially Vegeta in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I remember watching... I actually remember watching part of the movie in Japanese whenever my dad got it downloaded on his phone. But I actually really wanted to actually see it in theaters. But... Yeah. Vegeta. Well, hopefully whenever it... <laughs> Okay. Hopefully whenever it comes out on DVD I can just go buy it and just watch it as soon as I get home. Yeah. Vegeta when Vegeta's terrified of Beerus destroying the earth, he gets pretty funny. I know it's Lord Bills. Uh Bills was his Japanese name, it's Beerus in America. You think See, look, swap? see, Rajan is sitting right there in front of that stupid statue. Yeah. It's like, seriously, you don't hear the giant ruby saw going off behind that statue. But yeah, Beerus, um, there was, um, I don't remember what I'm trying to say anymore. Um, hmm. I'm gonna bomb Murray now because I'm smart that way. And then. Oh. The entire crowd inside the entire palace doesn't see a giant pink hippo carrying gigantic metal wings going to the roof. Yeah. God damn it! I'm bad at that. I'm bad at baming the bombs. Fucking bombs! I want a turret. I don't want bombs because bombs are parable. Did I say parable? I need to learn how to talk. You gotta go spaz. <laughs> gotta go faster, 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 faster. Oh god. Murray's gonna die. I'm doing hor horribly with it, protecting him. And the thing is, why does Murray take like the superest longest way uh, to the <coughs> van? And then the only reason why the van's there is just going back inside the giant mountainside hole. I know, right? Like 10 feet away. I'm like, why not seriously? Just, why not just bring the van a little bit closer? Oh yeah, I forgot. They re-put Dragon Ball Z, Bow the Gods, in the theaters again. Yeah, they did, but it's that was yesterday, and I don't think they did it again, did they? Um, I don't know, I haven't looked it up. Showtime's Dragon Ball Z, Bow the Gods, at Cornelius Night in Cinema, uh, Thursday, August 14th, Friday, August 15th, Saturday, oh. August 16th. You went to the Cornelius? Um, we had to go to one of the, our mall. The mall. I went to the Kiggins. Did you say it was on August 16th? August 14th, 15th, and 16th. I might be able to go see it on one of those days. Maybe. Um, if only we but, were working on the shower on Saturday, I might have I might have had a chance to go see it again. But the thing is, I actually saw it for free because my brother linked me to the Japanese movie. The Japanese version. So I, 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 I avoided the Japanese version until... The Amer I, I wanted to see the American version. I didn't want to see the Japanese version. Well, the only reason... The whole thing about the Japanese version and the Go the uh, American version for Goku's voice act is just really, really awkward. That's my big problem with, me. with watching things in Jap like watching Japanese versions of anything is that the voice actor is such a big change. I mean, it's okay if you started out in Japanese and then try to watch it in English. But if you start in the English and try to go to the Japanese, you're not going to have a fun time. No, you're not. Because I remember trying to watch Soul Eater that way. I'm like, because I've already got spoiled, like, some of the episodes from one of my friends in English. And then I decided, you know, I'm going to finally sit down and watch this anime in Japanese. Try to watch it in Japanese, and I get, they didn't make it five minutes, and then I had to switch back over to English. Voice actors? Yes. I just couldn't get into it anymore. I couldn't get into the Japanese. I had to go straight to the freaking... Yeah. I prefer I prefer English versions, and 
Battle of the Gods was such a good movie. It was worth the year and a half wait. It really is. That's how good of a movie it was. But Vegeta's bingo dance. It was wait the best a minute. I think I've seen a picture of that. When, when Vegeta had to... It was up to Vegeta to protect the world, to protect the Earth from Beerus, to keep Beerus happy so that he didn't destroy the Earth. It was up to Vegeta, so when Beerus was starting to get irritated if over, I don't remember what it was exactly, but he was getting irritated over something, Vegeta just rushes onto stage and he just does like a bingo dance, singing along with the bingo song, to try and keep Beerus happy. Oh, I remember that. Well, I don't remember that because I never watched the show, but they, uh, there's actually a picture showing where it shows uh, <coughs> water. Where it shows uh, Vegeta as a Super Saiyan 2 with the uh, Majin Buu mark on his forehead, like crying, like he's about to do like the self-destruct thing. And it says, like, this is what, this is the Vegeta I grew up with. And then it shows, then it shows that Vegeta on stage doing like a like a ballerina dance of some kind, and saying, not this. <laughs> I'm like, did they seriously screw up Kai that badly? No, that's from Battle of the Gods. Because Vegeta... I kind of seduced that later on, but I'm like, couldn't be all that bad. There was that Bulma scene. Yeah, when Bulma gets slapped by Beerus, so then Vegeta goes insane and is stronger than Goku at SSJ3. There's also a picture where it shows Goku with a troll face, showing like saying "shh" to uh, Hercule, and then Vegeta's like near the background that has a, like a one of those uh, like notes that you slap on people's back without them knowing, and it says, "I can't go Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> and Vegeta never does go Super Saiyan three, but he never has a reason to. He goes Super Saiyan 1, 2, skips 3, and then in the non-canon version goes up to 4. Yeah. I have a feeling that they're not even going to ever have anything past Super Saiyan 3 in the actual canon. They're probably not, because even though, you know there's a lot of people on that I've seen on Facebook saying, Who wants to see Vegeta as Super Saiyan 3 and has like these, like, just like fan art, I guess, of Vegeta supposedly looking like what he's supposed to look like if he does turn Super Saiyan 3. And it's like 10k likes and over 100k comments. I'm like, I hardly doubt that the actual canon people would actually uh, make Vegeta actually go Super Saiyan 3, which he probably will actually skip it, skip that anyway in the actual canon, canon version. To yeah. somewhat surpass Goku, I mean, but then well, first Goku off, surpass him. He already did in the Bulma scene what, because they say Vegeta went more powerful than Goku, but he did not go Super Saiyan three. He was just either Super Saiyan one or two, presumably two. But he he but in that one moment he surpassed Goku at Super Saiyan three. Yeah. But. We, all, we already know that they're making a sequel to Battle of the Gods. Whether it's a sequel to Battle of the Gods or it's just another movie, we don't know that for sure. But at the end of Battle of the Gods, it says Vegeta is being like his whole prideful self, and he's saying that if Beerus comes back, then he's the one that's going to go Super Saiyan God, and Goku agrees with this. So I had an idea. Because Goku had the same power level after going Super Saiyan God that he did as Super Saiyan God, that... What if that happened with Vegeta? Then, but but then when Vegeta's done being Super Saiyan God, he's not power enough to defeat Beerus like Goku. But Beerus is much more persistent this time, and then Goku and Vegeta have to fuse, both both having once been Super Saiyan God, and then perhaps even because we now have Bola, we would poss probably now have Bola. So perhaps even having Gogeta go Super Saiyan God. Yes. That's what I want to see. See, that would actually make a lot of sense with the like next. If the movie is supposed to be like a little bit 
like time consumed after the Battle it's, of the God uh, one. Three years after Battle of the Gods is what we're assuming because at the end of Battle of the Gods one, Beerus goes to sleep for three years. Yeah, the, because I remember seeing part of the the Japanese movie part where it shows at the end where he they went back to his original world, I guess, and his like mentor was set, like ta talking to him. It's like that's the first time I actually seen you going that. Uh, percent in the longest time. Seventy, seventy percent. Yeah. And Goku was like toying with that fifty. Goku was at eighty percent when he switched back from Super Saiyan God, but I think he went to full power at the end of the movie. Where he like destroyed that uh, giant energy ball. Yeah. Which. But that was like the only time he actually went to a hundred percent, then got like super weak. The weird thing about that is that in that moment, Goku went Super Saiyan God all on his own. Yeah. That's the and then, from what I've seen from like the Japanese uh, anime, it looked like he had like black markings on his arm whenever he did do go to Super Saiyan God. I don't know if it was just my eyesight, my dad's phone screen, or it was actually in the movie. I don't. I don't remember. It's probably just because my dad's phone screen, but. I don't know yet. So I actually really want to go see the movie and actually experience myself, but more or less I'm just going to have to wait until it comes out on DVD. Yeah, it was a great movie, though. I really want to go see it again, but that's not happening. I actually really want to go see it now, but more or less I, with my time schedule, I have to wait. I'm just going to wait until the DVD comes out and get it. I just want to see the a dance and singing thing with Vegeta as American voice actor. I think they Love used it. all of the same American voice actors, but it's been such a long time that they sound a bit different. That's what I would have guessed. I know Sean Tramiel came back for Goku. He's the Goku. He's the American Goku. Which, but during um, uh, Dragon Ball GT, Sean Schmel actually uh, passed out for a few seconds due to not calculating the amount of breath needed for a Kamehameha. I did not know that. Many people believe he passed out during the Super Saiyan 3 transformation, which would make quite a lot of sense, but he didn't. He just had a sore throat. But he did pass out during GT. Oh, well, the more you know. Yeah, but it was only for five seconds. Oh, that's good. And something else I really like about the first, like, the side two and three, I like a lot better than side four, was if, like... If you got burned, electrocuted, or water hazard, you would just go back where you was. And like Sly 4, where you you get like fired or electrocuted some of the times, you like get instantly killed and have to go back to the checkpoint. Yeah. I love the picture of Verjean that I got. It was just a slight, a tiny little picture of the heart. Because <laughs> I got the picture as he was walking away, so it just got the top of his head and the heart. No oh, god, I, I was I was taking a drink at that time, so I probably so that's probably the reason why I skipped it. But yeah, Battle of the Gods or man, not? Be, pretty much best Dragon Ball movie they have made. Have you watched that one that they made where Goku actually went to school and all? Dragon Ball Evolution. I'm not going that, to watch that. You do not want to. That is the worst movie. I saw this. It's not even Dragon Ball. I saw the cinema sins for that movie. I'm good. I didn't. I but, my dad actually rented it and like. Here's okay. Now I see that picture. Here's the bet. Here's the best part. Is that if you look into Dragon Ball Z abridged, Lord Slug movie, there's a part where Goku's talking. He's like, "Oh man, this is worse than the time I was in high school." You know, the kids called me Geeko, and I was Piccolo's slave. I couldn't get Chi-Chi to like me, and oh, wow, I hit that hot rock harder than I thought. But I think that was a huge reference to Dragon Ball Evolution. 
Now that yes. I've seen the cinema sins for it. And and that just makes that scene so much funnier. This is wow, I think hit that rock harder than I thought. Oh, I hate the leading Rajan mission. That's I'm assuming Elephant Rampage and something else. I hate I hate how high the mission uh holograms can go. Yes, it's like I wanna know what mission never it ending. is. I want to know what mission it is. I don't want to just see it. I just don't. I don't want it to just be too high in the air for me to see it. It's like never ending, going straight up in the sky. That's the only problem I had with this game. Yeah. And where you just had to look at the ground and then click it, and then look up. And in slight, they f the the nice thing they did in slide three is that if is that when you did the L three trigger to find the missions, they gave you the mission name flashed on the screen. And they actually showed you a little circle that goes straight to your mission or going to the safe house just in case if you're, like, getting lost for your first time playing. Wasn't that only in Sly 4? No, it was only in Sly 3. Huh. I didn't see it in Sly 4 when I was trying to figure out where my missions are. Uh, yeah, it was just... I just found that funny. That I just... That's one of the things I like about Sly 3 is how all you have to do is press the L3 button and you can figure out what missions are which and everything you need to know. That, and I hate how some missions, like, collide with each other where it just makes a giant mess of a text where you can't read either one of them. Yeah. There, I killed that guy. Where the hell is Bentley's mission? It should be somewhere. It should be somewhere. Very, very helpful. Well, I, I, I don't remember this game all too well since I haven't played in like five to eight months. I was just making a joke. I already found it by the time you said that. I know. That's why I said it. Because as soon as you found it, I'm like, somewhere, I guess. Because I was going to say near the, like, leaning... The Endless Leaning Tower of Temple. No, that's where one of Sly's missions is. I thought it was also one of Bentley's. Possibly, but not right now. Because... No, that's. I think that's a little later. Never mind. Because that's after you crash the helicopter into the top of it. It's over there. Okay, so I need to get on the bridge. Now that mission was a pain, first time playing. Finding Rajan? That and where after you crashed a helicopter into the side, into the top of the uh, endless leaning tower, and then you just having that hard time just to focus your aim sights. Oh yeah, when you have to shoot down uh, the thing in the sky. Yeah. There was something in the sky you have to shoot down, I just don't remember what it is. I think it was a helicopter. Another helicopter? I think. Rajan, uh, Rajan likes helicopters. Rajan likes defense. I know, shocker, right? Yeah. For an evil spice lord, he actually... He actually understands how to defend himself. Which doesn't really help him that much, but he actually understands the concept. It, doesn't, it only doesn't help him because he's faced against the Sly Gang. If he was against anybody else, it would help him. Probably word. If I'm correct, Sly 5, I believe it's going to be called Master of Thieves. I thought it, I thought it was going to be called Thieves to be Forever. We gave you the Kunis, Banner Thief, Honor Among Thieves. Keeps in time. I mean, I don't know, really. I thought it was gonna be something to do with thieves forever. I. It's either the thieves forever or master thieves, but I hardly doubt that. Though it's one or the other, right? Or it could be a just a random name that we just can't think of right off the bat because we're not that smart of like the game producers. Like thieving the thieves, or or it'd be actually called saving Sly or finding <laughs> Sly. 
Finding Sly, Sly Cooper Co and the gang in Finding Sly. <laughs> 2.0 Esquire because they basically already had Finding Sly but it wasn't actually the game but Bentley actually went and got on find, Finding Sly at the end of Sly 3 I hate so many missions in this level oh this is like one of the worlds that I hated most yeah I, I, I need to get on a building I hate fighting Rajan as Marie. Yeah, that mission. Oh god. Rajan is going to see me. How in the world did Rajan not see me? Everyone has that really, really blind eyesight. Ow! I like how you're like. Oh shit, Rajan! Just... Rajan! 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 He was too close! He was too close! Ah! 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 Run, oh run, 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 jump, jump. Okay, I don't think... Ah, god damn it. God damn it. But I like how in, like, this case, you're like... You're basically yeah. sneaking up to him. As soon as you pick up the, the like, pickpocket to him to get the things, he's like, he automatically jumps up and then, like, just jumps away to a new location. It's like... Yeah. It's like, how does he know that you pickpocketed him from his little thing? Okay, I already got the first blueprint. And you would think since he would, sh he should have a multiple blueprints of each uh, of his plans, you would have thought. Rajan is eating the watermelon now. Rajan is That's one thing I don't get about some of the enemies. Is like they only have one copy of each of their plans of blueprints, but they don't have like a backup copy or anything. They probably do. You just you they just probably do. You just only have to steal one of them, or like the main one. And there was an explosion in the background as I got this blueprint. Oh, oh shit, I'm right. I will see that as soon as I catch up in the thing. Get on the truck, Bentley, get on the truck. Thank you. Thank you for getting on the truck. That, and I somewhat don't like how in Sly 4 they actually changed the emblem. What emblem? Like the Sly oh, uh, mask emblem. Yeah, Sly's symbol. They changed it a bit, I remember. No, it's yeah, actually. from besides being white, blue and white, it just became black and white. I'm like... Really? And Kill Otto has. I think Otto has bacon. Good. Good for Otto. Bacon. Probably the most of food besides chocolate. Where's Rajan? I don't know. I'm, I'm not that far ahead yet. And he saw me. I have broken both claws of or pincers of this crab monster. And now it's completely pissed and pissed forever. Guys. Uh, but I seen the explosion in the background. Guys, I are good at this game. I swears. I are crab. I swears I are good at this game. Oh god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Okay. God damn it, Bentley! I archive it's, the, it's just the Bentley missions. The Bentley missions are like the worst, in my opinion. I love Bentley. Except for the computers. I love Bentley, but some of his missions just kind of suck. I mean, and the only like the, the only ones that really mattered was like some of the uh, computer hacking ones, which it's actually made it a little bit more better for Bentley. Um. But that's about it. Don't tell me he can jump up this tree. Don't tell me Rashawn can jump up this tree. Okay, probably can. Although I, I think I'm pretty much screwed now. Maybe. Rajan's a cat. He can climb up a tree. Rajan's a tiger, he... not a cat. Oh god, I dropped a bomb on myself. Yeah, tigers can climb up trees. Viper in the grass. I dropped a bomb on myself. How did do you manage that? I accidentally pressed triangle. But yeah, I don't think I'm getting away from this because he's noticed me, just not noticed me. He's attacking the tree. 
Otto, you really need food. Yeah, Otto, you probably want to eat something before you die. And we don't want a dead Otto. Dead Otto. A tiger is a cat. And tigers, well, um, freaking cheetahs, panthers, they all climb trees. I haven't seen a lion climb a tree yet. They don't have to because they live in where there's barely any trees. So the cheetahs. Did you say cheetahs? Like with a G? Cheetahs. No, <laughs> che cheetahs. 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 Whenever my sister gets another cat for a horde of animals, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her name of Jita. Um, how does Rajan know I'm fucking here? I don't know. And I seen you drop the bomb on yourself. You saw me drop the bomb on myself? You're pretty far behind. Yep, I probably I'm need a refresh. I think I'm actually ahead of you, but I'm sort of late. I'm usually not this far behind, but then again, I'm usually am. That makes no up. sense. You I'm, are, but you aren't. I'm not usually this far behind, but then again, I usually am this far behind. I mean, usually I'm not that... For the entirety of the... Ah, uh, Vegeta. Uh, for the most part of the the entire streams, I haven't been that far behind from the actual chat and the commentary and all. But now, it's like... but. Usually I'm like don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't this see me, far don't behind. See me, don't see me. Okay, good. They didn't see me. Now I can lead him from the tree with no problems. I am refreshing my web browser. <laughs> I'm finding a giant blue crab. Or lobster. It could be either one. How are you fighting a giant blue lobster crab? Lobster. It's a lot. It's either a, it's, it's a Shogun Sienatar, and it's Monster Hunter feeding me night. Uh, I, I got I got Rajan to the last watermelon. Yeah. He like takes a small bite of it, and then just shoves the entire thing down his throat. Yeah. And this turns into Tom and Jerry, and he spits the seeds out at someone. And he, he doesn't like even spit the seeds out. It spits like 12 million seeds when he only ate one watermelon. That sounds, that sounds like something Tom and Jerry would do. I mean, Tom and Jerry had, is. had Tom made Spike eat an entire bottle of sleeping pills. Or yeah, that one episode that where uh, uh, Jerry, well, yeah, Jerry was eating watermelon and Tom hit him in the head and made him make uh, Jerry like a maraca. I love that then show. He spit it all, then he spit it all back up and then spat it in his face like a bullet. I love that show. Ow! Okay. I just got the job complete sign. I'm so bad at not getting hit. So am I. So. This thing just did a U-turn faster than a bullet. I know it made what? you mad, but bringing both for class, but it wants to be like a literal bullet. Now to get to another one of my least favorite missions done. The spice. Is it that bugs? Actually, I need to do both the bug one and the spice plant one. I think this one's the spice plant one, and the other one's the bug one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I know you had the bug one because I seen it because it's on the towering tree. Yeah, this is the sp this is the spice plant. The next one's the bug one. Yay! I get to do two of my least favorite missions in this one. I actually like the spice plant one a little bit better than the bug one. I hated the bug one the the worst. That's like my at some point, one of the top ten. At some point with the bug one, I just decided to just never, ever put it in the water. And I tried I, my best. To it's put actually it in water. not. It's actually not even that hard for me to do it without putting it in the water, because I'm very good at dodging guards tags. I wasn't back in the day. I was the worst. Well, I'm talking about recently. Back in the day, I put it in the water. I don't know what I am recently because I don't have my games. Mm. Otto, it's food. You need food. You need food to survive. It's probably not a good idea to not eat for 36 hours. 
I'm getting hungry myself where I'm about to go raid my kitchen. 37 in a row? I still don't even know what that's from, but my parents quote it all the time. I still wish I knew what movie uh, You Tear Me Apart Lisa is from. Vegeta! I can fly! Uh, uh, but, uh, 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 yes, Nappa, yes, you can. Isn't that where he gets a nosebleed? I uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think so. And then says he lost brain cells, or was that a little bit later? I think that's a little bit later. Like, just an aneurysm of sheer stupidity. Wow! Didn't know you were that stupid, Vegeta. Ah! Nine minutes, 18 seconds. Nine minutes, 18 seconds. Oh, what's that, Vegeta? Happiest moment of my life. <coughs> what was before that? What caused it? I don't think I don't it remember. was the f I can fly. Actually, yes, it was. Sorry, I'm being stupid. Yes, it was. Oh. Oh, yes, it's where that Nappa actually goes and starts, like, destroying the airplanes and ships and all. And the whales. The whales! Whales will save us! Whales are gigantic! Whales! And then at the I end, it's like, all the whales are dead. It's like, my whales! I suck their battleship! And they're and whales! They're... No! The whales! I had a hell of a day with you. Napa, where'd your armor go? I had a hell of a day, Vegeta. I sunk their battleship. And their whales. Yeah, God, fucking, fucking shit, fuck. Yeah, I'm on the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's Pisa. constantly Pizza. leaning. I'm on the Leaning Tower of Pizza. That would be delicious. Yeah, actually. I would eat that entire tower. I'll probably eat like three slices, and then I can get sick, and then wait a few days to eat some more, and then get sick, and then so, go so eat more. So the Leaning Tower of Pizza would be a long, drawn-out mission for you? Yeah. Usually eating pizza wasn't a big deal for me, because I used to eat... I ate two and a half large one-topping pizzas by myself, originally. But after that, it kind of, I guess, destroyed my uh, stomach. <laughs> so if I eat more than three pieces of pizza... It just kills me and makes me sick for about for the rest of the day slash night. I usually have half of the pizza, but we usually get extra large pizza too, like eighteen inches. Yes. So yeah. If it's cold pizza, I can probably I can uh, actually eat about four or five. Oh yeah, cold pizza. Cold pizza's in in some ways, cold pizza is more delicious than. Hot pizza. To me, I like cold pizza, pizza better than uh, uh, warm pizza. I like but then again, I like both. I like both, but some of the uh, I think warm pizza is better with the pepperonis, but cold pizza has that more of a taste, I guess, that lasts a little bit longer. Apparently, that to quote, me. Apparently, that quote you were talking about is from the room, according to Otto. Uh, I can still let it up. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's 1006. What, really? Yeah. Kick his ass, Nappa. Yay! Don't, 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 don't. Wait, wait, wait. Nappa! What? I had the scouter upside down. It's over 9,000. Ah. Why do you sound so bored? Because it's still not a threat. What? To me. <laughs> but when we get... We'll just get the Dragon Balls image for immortality. Then no one will be able to stop us. Wait, what? But you killed Piccolo. Your point is... Well, if he's dead, the Dragon Balls don't work. Oh, and I totally killed that guy. Oh, well. At least you had fun getting here. Right, Vegeta? 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 Remember the bug planet? Vegeta? 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 Remember Vegeta? all the fun we Vegeta? had? Ah! You don't know how good this feels. There you go. 
grab. Oh god, nope. 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 Roll for your life. Wow, this crab is immortal. I might. Never mind. I'm so happy right now. I might not even slaughter you all. Re really? Uh, I know. You're all thoroughly screwed. Oh. Dylan, take go home. You guys, back to Master Rose Shoes. So we can. Where'd Krillin go? Gohan, follow Krillin. You meet your mother back in Master Roshi's. You want me to tell her anything? Yes, Gohan. Banana, nut, dana, nut, nut. Tell her to put dinner on. Banana, nut, banana, nut. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. Banana, nut, banana. God. Hopefully, hopefully, it can be done before dinner. Because I told Gohan to tell Chi Chi to. Ah! And then, I, that just reminds me, uh, later on, is like, uh, the Cooler f uh, Saga episode, where it shows, uh, Goku passed out on a deer, it's like, GG, make some, go make me some dinner, you, uh, woman that's living inside this house. <laughs> you beautiful woman who lives in my house. Yeah, pour that syrup. All over my breakfast. You beautiful woman who lives in my house. And at the end, it's like, okay, go on, give me him. Give me kid, give me Icarus. I want to eat your dragon. Then at the end, it's like, you think you got rid of me? Then it's just special beam cannon. <laughs> give me your, give me Icarus now. Then it just like dramatically zooms out, showing the dragon bones of Icarus. Yeah. Hey, Finn, name's Piccolo. I got your antenna, and there's nothing you can. Ah ha! I knew you'd do that. And now for part two of my master plan. Ah! The hell is wrong with everyone on this planet? Please don't break my arm. No. I'm trying to remember where that that one's from. Ah, uh, Lord Slug. See, I haven't seen that one yet. Please don't break my arm. No. Where's the spice plants? I, I picked a great noise for breaking the arm. You look ugly now, crab. Because I just broke your shell. No, I'm sure if we can talk things over, we can become friends. High five. Down low. What? Too slow. Just slap in the face. Actually, it was just an energy beam. But. No, it's, it considers a slap in the face sometimes. Why can't you save your own damn self? So, so what are you guys? The other guys are like misfit minions and crap, so what are you? Well, if I had to choose, I'd say I'm the pretty one. Meh, 6 out of 10. You sassy bitch! So that makes you the weird one with the freaky superpowers. I can make mini-me's! Fantastic. And you're the tough, stupid one. Hey, you take that back. All right, all right, you're not tough. That's better. <laughs> did, you a, did you just give him a minute? Hey! You look like a penis. So long as it's seniors, you don't know what one looks like anymore. Oh, I got some ketchup for you tonight. Where the hell did the crab go? The crab went everywhere. You know something weird about people in general? Is a lot of the time is they'll get more angry at somebody like like while they're awake for for being loud late at night than they will when if they like I don't know. It's like you can be twice as loud when somebody's actually asleep than if somebody's like trying to go to sleep. Or something I always like found that, that uh, interesting because I'm always more louder at night than I am during, Cause like, like, portion of night. Because, like, lots of times I'll be doing a stream or something where, like, throughout the entire night I'll be, like, fairly loud the entire night. But then it, like, gets to, like, 7.30 in the morning, my dad's awake and he's just like, shut the fuck up, I can hear you out here. Yeah, you could probably have heard me out here back when you were asleep, too. Not gonna change a damn thing, dumbass. 
I so wish I could tell my father things like that sometimes. I wish I could. I probably could with my own dad. But, it's like, do you really want me to come and break you? I can't, I can't wait till I have my own house so that, like, I can have my parents come over and then I can just do all of the things that they told me not to do. <laughs> and like, I can't do a thing about like, it. Like, talk back to them. I can finally do things like that. It's like, th you're in my house now. now even then, you play my, my rules. Even if I'm in their house, they have nothing to threaten me with anymore, so why should I care? I mean, seriously. If my voice I mean, raises because I got angry over something, then I'm going to let it stay raised. I'm not. They're probably going to be like, lower your voice near me, mister. Why? I'll be so excited to be able to say no and why to my parents when I finally moved out, so all my stuff belongs to me now. Me. I know I need to move out sometime, because so far it's my dad not doing a damn thing around the house, my mom's doing all the work, I'm watching my sister's kids for more than a couple hours, because my brother-in-law and sister both go to work around the morning and that one, and I have to wait until my sister gets off work, and she gets off work at four, but she doesn't come to my, to my house until 5.30, and then she is still letting my mom babysit, even though she's over here. Dude, we are very similar for families. We're almost like and my mom's mom. like the actual man around the house while my dad's just playing on his phone in the living room, or in his bedroom watching whatever he's watching, and then starts complaining like, Oh, I'll work about 12 hours. I just worked 12 hours last night. You just work about six every day. Just, all that shit. The only difference is that my mom's on the phone and it's my brother's kid. That's the only difference from it. So yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna do everything I can to do this entire mission without dropping the bug in water once. Except for at the start while I'm scouting out where I'm going. Great, I have to go on the floor now. This is gonna suck. Yeah. This sounds like a, a freaking squirrel. Run, 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 Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. That almost sounded like the Halloween, uh, theme. Yeah, Halloween. it did. That's what I was going for. Well, I don't know how to feel about that, Auto. I'm not. I have two. I have an older sister and an older brother. 25, 21. And I'm 13. I have two older brothers. One of which I caused, have one older sister. One of which caused my self esteem issues and is returning to the household. My sister really wants to sell her house and come live with me at the family again so she can stop being in a hole because of their whole money issues. But. My mom and dad don't want want that. Neither does my brother-in-law, and they actually and he they all want them to keep their house. But no, my sister really wants to rent the house out, then sell it so she can move back in with, in this house, where there is barely any room for just the both of them normally, plus the two kids and the five or six animals that they own. That's a lot of animals. Yeah, she no, has two dogs inside with a cat that acts like a dog and swims in the toilet, and three dogs that's outside. You want us to be here? We had three dogs, three cats, two geckos, a fish, and a frog. That is ten animals. Ten pets we had. Yeah. The bad thing is my sister doesn't take care of the three dogs outside. That she just goes outside and feeds them, waters them, comes back in. Doesn't really pay them much attention until they uh, escape from their fence and roam around outside. And then but they find out that they're in their the carport, laying behind, like beside the door. Then drags their butts back in. Damn it! That's about it. Fine, I'll go a different route. 
I am uh, I'll, being go I'll go the route I usually go, just randomly jump off and hope I can find a good place to get. I thought you were gonna reference Conquer there real quick. A second there. Oh, that hit me. You side. lost the bug. I think I'm behind again. Me? Um, great. Computer? Why? Why? My monitors just went, went to sleep. My monitors went into power save mode. AKA yes. Yeah, I was right. I never really have power save mode on. I I can't figure out how to turn it off. Same. If I could turn it off, it would have I would have turned it off years ago. It only stays on if I'm watching a video or a stream. No, no, no. My computer uh, always stays on and just never turns off unless I either not pay attention to the battery or I put it to sleep. My biggest problem with power save mode is that is that most video streaming sites it won't be affected by, like it, like it won't go into power save mode with most video streaming sites, except for Netflix. That's weird. That's the biggest problem That's I have with it. I have Netflix on my PS3. I watch Netflix on all of, on a, a lot of things. My it's mom has things. Netflix. I don't. Wow, this whole thing, this whole mission was much easier if I just used a simple path that I that I usually take. Why didn't you do that in the first place? I thought I could be more creative with it. Well, there's no harm in that. Ooh. I was almost hit by a laser beam on the floor. Laser. Laser. Hi. Um, A J P J L M. However, the hell you're supposed to pronounce that? Hey. It just reminds me of that one uh, prop hunt video of uh, C Nanners and Gassy and like two other Let's Players that I don't remember. Probably Captain Sparkles and something else. I don't think one of them is real bad. And uh, C Nanners was hiding in a giant pile of hay as an axe. And was like, Where are you hiding? It's like, Hey! <laughs> I was like, That is the best thing to ever hint. <laughs> then it's like five seconds left. It's like, Where are y'all hiding? Hey! <laughs> they both just started saying, Hey! Hey! Like, it's like the best thing ever. Just say AJ. Okay. Hey AJ. Your mom looks like a creep that hasn't okay, slept okay. in five years. No, I okay, will okay, call okay. you a. I will call you a Jack Pineapple. But then that would be AJP. Yeah, AJP. Oh, he is AJP. And Spy, what is it with you and pineapples? It, you know how, um, Chen says peanut butter? Or peanut, yeah. I think so, yeah. It, that's my peanut butter. Okay, then. It's the word that you say when you don't know. So that's, like, auto with bacon. Yeah. I don't, want, I don't know what my uh, random word is. I think I changed it too much to actually remember. I just I usually just say like zippers up. I, just I know like, I used to I know I, I used to say uh, butterscotch a lot. Hijacked is also nice. It just sounds wrong. I have a brother named Jack, so we always used to joke like, "Don't say hi to Jack on the plane." <laughs> hey, hi Jack. <laughs> I so want to do that now. You want to just find someone named Jack and then say hi, Jack, on a plane? Yes. You'd probably get arrested. Well, not. Well, I actually have a friend named Jack, so I could probably take him on a plane. <laughs> it's like, hi, hey, hi, Jack, what are you doing right now? Hi, Jack, what are you doing? Just be careful. <coughs> be careful with snakes. That's all you gotta be careful of. I guess. I am. Because I am tired. 
all these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Who doesn't love pineapples? You spelled pineapples wrong. No. I don't like pineapples. You're evil. I have an I already I know that, Spy. I'm not that much a fan of pineapples, but I can eat them at least. I'm a very picky eater, so... Oh, you should meet my, one of my cousins. She basically has like five things that she'll eat. And that's mostly junk food. Yeah, I'm the same way. I love eating any food. It's also healthy for you. That and she's not outgoing at all because one because uh, I remember her mom took her to one of the concerts that she's a big fan of of the band, and her mom was basically doing what the entire crowd was doing, like going. Woo! And all that, the whole hurrah stuff, and my cousin's like, "You need to stop that. You're you're embarrassing me. You need to stop that right now." I try and boss her own mom around. I'm like, seriously. Apparently, who likes English anyways? Exactly. I can't eat English, so why should you? Who, who even likes America? I is going way wrong. Way wrong goes you. Okay, I can't. Hi. TNT Peril, I, knew, I use no more. Ow! Ow! I need to stop. I need to stop jumping into lasers. But the lasers love you. And I need to stop jumping into spotlights. I need. To they stop. probably hate you. I need to stop not being sneaky. But that's the whole point of the game. Exactly. It's to pretend like you're sneaking, but in reality you just destroy shit. I thought the, that was the whole point of the game anyways. You're just destroying everything. Pretty much, yeah. Any coins. It's like, you destroy everything, you get at least like four to five coins from each thing you destroy. Maybe one. Zip <sighs> up. <laughs> Complete silence. Yes. I'm actually doing some stuff. Ripping ad. Of course, and as always, Spain Monster. Okay, there's a miscount on this stream. There's always a miscount on the viewer list. It says there's six people that I only count five. Are you counting yourself? Yes. Are you counting Jay? Yes. You counting I'm counting Anna? everyone. Yes. Counting me? Yes. <laughs> that was a long yes. I was reading what AJ posted, and it's kind of out there. I want to kill you, crab. We have way too much dang happened. HP. Sorry, AJ. Everybody here already has girlfriends. What? I don't, I don't know. Just literally... So, I don't know anything really. I don't know. I was trying to make a joke, and I guess I failed at it. I don't know what well, if AJ's a girl or not. So. I don't either. But just because, but just because you're one gender doesn't mean you have to like the other. Uh, I have actually have uh, friends that are gay, like guys that are gay. That's my one of my best friends actually. I ha yeah, all of my best friends are bi. Oh shit. I have half my girls list that's bi or just straight or just lesbian in general. And I have a list of guys which are not that very long. It's very, very short. And then but half of them are basically gay or bi. 
Oh, I get it. I get the joke. AJ, the, it, what, the, what AJ said was a joke when Sly was lit on fire because his tail was on fire. And not a girl. Hello, DKS3A. Oh, well, that you have to judge for yourself, AJ. I can't help you there. Yeah. The only way you should know is because it's you, but then again, it took me forever to figure out if I was gay or not, because I never had a girlfriend until, like, at the end of seventh grade. I never had a girlfriend until now, but I knew for a fact I was straight, so. I go into really, really deep thoughts and, like, start thinking about life and everything. Although... I can tell you that my girlfriend and Spy's girlfriend are both bi, so there's that. More or less my girlfriend's bi from the way she talked about having a girlfriend then got cheated on for a guy that had a pecker a couple times when I was over at her house, but that's just me. So more or less I had a bi girlfriend. And I think my dog needs once out of my room. And explosion time! Hey, give me a minute, I gotta let my dog out. You need to stop doing this to me, Sam. Explode a spice gear, see what's inside. Oh my god, it's nearly dead. I must leave the areas now. this right now you crab abomination I have you nearly dead you cannot kill me I died I beat the I beat the mission got out of the area and then I fell in the water had to be helpful here bring him out of that area Digging. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running. Just keep dying, just keep dying. Wait, what? I don't want to die just yet. Just yet? As in you want to soon, but not right now? Um, I want to die when I am really, really old. Yeah, so do I. I want to, how do you want to die? Old age. Well, I know old age. You want to die in your sleep? I or not? I don't know, to be honest. How did that hit me? It's not near that. I'm not going near that as well. And I'm back. Welcome back. I feel bad. I'm killing my brethren. Since my name is Spycrab. Yeah, you're killing. More or less, my dog has peed on the pillow that she lays on all the time in my room, but it's either she peed on it or she just licked her paws to death and left liquid stain. And I really don't want to find out. Probably peed on it. So I just put it outside and leaning against the wall. Run it through the wash five gazillion times and then go to the dry cleaners. Yep. I don't know how I'm going to work with the pillow, but that's Dry cleaners it's work with like cushions and pillows just fine. I never really, I never really went to dry cleaners. I remember going there at least once. All I know but about that's when. All I know about dry cleaners is what I learned on TV shows. I only went there once, and that's because we was switching out our washer and dryer because it started flooding. Good. So here's what happened. I'm trying to get to the. The rip off the ruby mission, but then I fall down onto the Neela mission. Yeah, I, I, I seen you fall down and then get hit by one of the uh, flashlight guards. And then I see you just jump into the Neela mission. 
Oh, I just, I remember at the end of this uh, part, I really hated Neela after this. Yeah, Neela's not exactly a likable character. I mean, at the beginning, it was questionable. Then after, like, Dimitri and then the dancing, is like, you kind of get warmed up to her. It's like, yeah, she's kind of a good character. Then after, like, this and then at the end of, like, this mission is, like, the worst ever. Yeah. He's just, he's just like gaining trust and then backstabbing you when your back is turned. Yay, I killed the crab. So, Boo, it was or, a crab. Would that be a chest no, chest stab? No, she she back she stabbed you when your she backstabbed you when your front was turned. Yes. I'm confused. I d I don't know what I'm going for anymore. I don't know either. I like how Neela can kill the enemies in one hit. I wish I had that ability. I also like how she re she feels the need to destroy everything in her path. I know that also attracts gu guards around her too, which is kind of nerve-wracking. I don't know how they found you on Twitter, so you have to ask the person that actually found you on Twitter. Yeah, which would be either Jax or EDF, most likely. Yeah, most likely. I barely get on Twitter. I have Twitter. I don't use Twitter. I have Facebook. I don't use Facebook. The only thing that really gets posted on my Twitter is uh, me uploading video uh, videos. Yeah. That's just about it. It just does that automatically thanks to YouTube being linked to it. Yep, yeah, that's basically the only reason that and it's easier to follow some of the let's players I watch do crazy stuff so that's about it so I don't really post anything I just have YouTube post stuff for me and I just walk, go through my feed and look at the, all the stupid stuff that's being posted plus EDF tends to be very good at finding people because I have no idea how the hell he found me but he somehow did and now now a part of a big part of this whole thing so I don't know how he found me because I just know one day I had an email on YouTube yeah, yeah, and I a PM on was YouTube. only and that's when I only had 50 videos and I'm like this is probably a mistake he probably mistake me for someone else like then I like replied back and I was like okay I'm a part of this group now I don't know how I'm gonna fit in when I when I first saw the message, my first thought was, "This is scam." Like all the other messages I get, it's just some scam thing. Yeah, I had like seven scams. Like, go to this website and you'll get subscribers like no tomorrow, and you start getting money. I'm like, no. Yeah, but either but I do it the, normally but, or not at all. Then I figured, eh, this looks slightly different, so I'll I'll uh, read it, see what happens, and. I read it, it's like, this does not look like a scam. Hmm. I just thought and then I, I was chose to be, like, I was chose wrongly by accident when I read the entire thing, and it took me a day to just like, okay, I'm just going to message back. Sly! Sure. Sly, why did you do that? Why did what you, you do, do that? He connected to something on the bottom, so I have to figure out how to get back up there. Oh, you can. You have to leave and then come back. Thanks, Sly. You're such a good thief. I remember this mission because that always screwed me up. You, like, somehow ninja spire jump all the way to the bottom of the area. Don't you don't you what? love that in the Sly games where you'll just, like, ninja spire jump to something always right there? But instead he'll connect to something like 5,000 feet below him. It, just it'll, about it. It'll like, he'll spin around and then, like, ten minutes later he finally drops onto the thing. Okay, I, I, I'm seriously... I don't even know how to get back... I don't even know how to get out of this area now. I'm, I'm just gonna die. You can do that, too. That's not the best answer. Because I think that was the entrance, uh, right where you just jumped into water, too. I think I want to... At some point, I think I want to send EDF a uh, Skype message 